Hello, my name is Sean O'Donnell. I'm the director of programs with the Steve Romer Hope Network. We're a nonprofit in Minnesota and we do overdose prevention work along with prescriber education and advocacy. Today I'm going to show you how to do an intramuscular naloxone injection. Um, naloxone is a medication that can reverse an opioid overdose. So um, using an intramuscular method uh, in all uh, of the kits typically, there are syringes, there are the, uh, the vials of naloxone, the medication itself, um, and then here I just have an injection pad. I'll show you how to inject into the muscle. So with the syringe, you would typically uh, take it out of its plastic wrap, and syringe, most syringes will have this clear plastic cap. You would open up the syringe, uh, being mindful that you have an exposed syringe, you'll take your naloxone and pop off this hard plastic orange protective cap on the vial with your thumb, just like that. You'll take the syringe, you could draw back one milliliter of air, inject into the vial, inject that air. What we're doing is we're creating just a slight vacuum to help us uh, get the medication out. And then what you'll be doing is you'll be pulling the the syringe below the liquid line, all the way down in the neck of the actual vial, and you'll be drawing up that entire dose of naloxone. You may have some air in your syringe, but because we're injecting into a muscle and not into a vein, that shouldn't matter. So the three places that you can inject would be the upper outer arm, the thigh, or the upper outer quadrant of the buttocks. We typically recommend going for the arm or the leg. Um, these long syringes can go through clothing. You would just want to check the area first to make sure that there aren't any uh, phones or keys or wallets that are embedded in somebody's pocket. So once that area is clear and ready to go, you could take your syringe, inject it directly into the muscle, and give the entire dose. You'll pull it out, and then with one hand behind your back, because you don't want to be tempted to use both hands and accidentally poke yourself. So you'll put one hand behind your back to recap the syringe and set that aside for first responders to get uh, when they arrive on scene. 